Hey everyone, I'm Joe Ziegler, the game director of Valorant, and as you can see, we're all still working from home, but that won't stop us from listening and responding to your feedback. I first wanted to say thank you all for coming on this journey so far. It's been a wild four months since launch, and while we're still getting in the rhythm of shipping stable patches, I think Act 3 is going to be the best one yet. But today, I'm not here to talk about all of Act 3. Just one set of changes coming across Act 3 of this year and Episode 2 of next year. Changes to one very important part of our game, competitive mode. Climbing the ranks is at the heart of the competitive experience of Valorant. But as we've seen from your feedback over the past two acts, this system is still in its early stages and we know we need to do a better job of improving understanding of the system, rank progress, and high rank play. We want your rank matches to always feel like you have a fair chance of winning, but we struggle to do that at the top ranks where it's harder to put solo players in fair matches. We've also heard from others that there's a desire for even more organized team play but just not in the same queue. I want to say that we hear you on all of these things, and while some may take time to implement, please keep the feedback coming. We intend to continue growing and evolving Valorant for years to come, and a part of that is building it with you. And that was my piece. I just wanted to check in with you all before passing the mic off to David Cole, one of our game designers. He'll more clearly walk you through our assessment of the situation, as well as what we intend to do now and in upcoming months for Ranked. Take it away, D. Cole. Yo, I'm David, I work on Valorant as a game designer, and I'll be steering the ship on our design for competitive going forward. When we were first setting up Ranked for launch, one big goal we had was to embrace social play, to let players from wider skill disparities play together, and to focus much of our Ranked systems on personal progression. But as we'd heard from your feedback, Ranked is about competition, like chasing a higher rank relative to your peers, or knowing that your rank you've achieved is worth something because everyone's climbing under the same conditions. For us, while the former values of social play are important, they should never come at the cost of your ranked accomplishments. So, we're gonna take a step back and simplify our goals with ranked, which you'll see over the course of Act 3, and then next year in Episode 2, and beyond. Act 3 is about moving quickly. We want to bring back more competitive integrity to the queue and get you focused on what matters most, winning. A team with a wide delta in rank definitely makes this harder. As such, we're gonna tighten the restriction on rank disparities for competitive Q, reducing them from a six to a three rank difference. For example, the lowest rank a diamond three can queue with is a platinum three, and the highest they can queue with is an immortal three. Additionally, immortal plus rank movement will be purely impacted by wins or losses and how decisive the match outcome was. We're gonna start here, learn how this impacts gameplay, and hopefully apply it to all their tiers by episode two. Along with reducing skill disparity and competitive, we are also adding the ability to select your preferred server. We can't fully guarantee you'll always get the server you want due to matchmaking reasons, but this feature will notably increase the chance to get your preferred game server. Next on our priority list is improving experience of high ranked players in the ranked climb. Hopefully some of the changes in Act 3 will address common pain points, but there are extra features already in the works for Episode 2. A few of these include creating a public, region-based leaderboard and a potential restriction on queue size at Immortal Plus to solo duo. These ranks are where the matchmaking pool is very small and therefore harder to reliably make fair matches. We're working on these changes as fast as possible, and we'll have an update when we can share. Currently, we're on track to deliver these changes early next year with the launch of Episode 2. We also know that these changes come with trade-offs. We know there are many of you who like to queue for competitive experience with friends of a wide skill range. We see this demand for this kind of team-based competition, and it's on our roadmap. We just believe this shouldn't be the focus of the competitive queue, and we'll hopefully have more news next year. Like all changes, we'll keep our ears to the ground to see what's working and what's not. Thanks, and keep us in check with your feedback.